Hi, I'm Neil McGill and today I'd like to talk to you about posture. Another one of the fundamentals of the golf swing, but again something that's really, really important and core to you being able to, uh, to make a good uh, golf swing and a good rotation in the golf swing. Uh, many players that we see, and a high percentage of the players that we see during coaching sessions, the posture is one of the main areas that causes faults to come later in the golf swing through an inability uh, to rotate due to the, the, the poor setup position. Now, not everybody is going to be able to get into a, a perfect let's say textbook posture and we're not looking for that and um, your know, differences in your, your own uh, range of movement and flexibility uh, will dictate whether or not you can get into posture but I'm just quickly today going to go over the kind of key fundamentals of what we're trying to achieve and the reason why we do so so I'm going to turn side on to you I've got a number six iron here but actually whichever club we're using isn't too important because the principle remains the same when I set up to the ball what we have to do is we need to get ourselves tilting forwards um, and we need to tip forwards from the kind of top of the hips, making sure that we get the feeling of our hips and our pelvis tipping sort of up and out uh, at our back. We're not looking for any sitting down movement. This tends to cause the knees to flex too much and actually makes my back and my spine angle too upright. Instead, I want to again feel the hips tip up and out. This just then have a slight flex in my knees and I'm trying to achieve somewhere close to a 90 degree angle between my spine and the shaft of the golf club. So as I said the principle remains the same regardless of club. If I was using a pitching wedge, a shorter club, I would then be tipping further over. I've got my hips again tilted up and out at the back. This allows me to rotate. So that the flatter the spine angle the, the easier it is to rotate. If what we tend to see most commonly, the hips rather than lifting up and out at the back of the pelvis, the, the hips and the pelvis are sitting inwards, what this does is causes slightly too upright a lower back angle, causes the shoulders then to, right, to, to round over uh, to be able to reach the club down to the ball. Now, you can see in my setup how rounded the back is. As I now begin to rotate, once I get to about halfway back, I'm now locked. I cannot rotate. It's like if you're imagining a car axle and you know you take the axle, you buckle the axle and these wheels now don't turn uh, in unison because of the buckled axle. And this is the same. We cannot rotate correctly with a curved spine angle is very difficult. Now again, I don't mind if it's very slightly curved down to your, your, your flexibility range. But what we're looking for is as flat a spine as you are able to make. Don't overdo because then you can work on, you might restrict your movement a little bit more. What we've got to do, lift the pelvis this up and out, depending on your shoulder flexibility, will dictate just how sharp an angle you can create in the spine. This in turn, I say, allows us to, to rotate both backswing and re-rotate on the way down, and this helps us to, to let the body control the golf swing and the body uh, to lead the golf swing. What we don't want to do, which is what tends to happen with a curved spine, is this leads to the arms and the hands taking over in the swing, and this is when we get real inconsistencies at the top of the backswing. You can see a cast from outside to in. You might see someone whipping the club down on the inside. Very, very difficult to control the club head. So so posture, really, really important. Key to this is your hips and your pelvis. I want hips and pelvis tipped up and out. This puts your weight, as I say, kind of on the balls of the feet. It gives you a real athletic position where you feel you can both rotate and you have balance. Okay, so again, hips, pelvis up and out. Draw the shoulders just back slightly. This helps us to, to keep the angle flat. This is what helps you to, uh, to rotate uh, better on the backswing and have a more uh, in sync golf swing and everything timed together. I hope this helps you and I'll see you again next time.